Hi friends, welcome to our channel Trending Places. Today we will showcase you about Cinque Terre, Italy. Cinque Terre is a collection of five centuries old beachfront settlements along Italy's rocky Riviera coast. Colorful buildings and vines cling two steep slopes in each of the five towns, harbors are bustling with fishing boats, and trattoria serve seafood delicacies and the Liguria region's famous sauce, pesto. The Sentiero Azzurro cliffside hiking trail connects the settlements and provides panoramic views of the sea. Monterosso, Vanazza, Cornelia, Manarola, and Rio Maggiore are the five fishing communities that make up the Cinque Terre. Located high on the Italian Riviera in the Liguria area, which was previously solely connected by mule paths and only accessible by rail or boat. Cinque Terre, Vanazza the best method to tour the five settlements is to use an ancient system of footpaths. The Cinque Terre is well known for its natural beauty. People have meticulously built terraces on the harsh, steep topography right up to the cliffs that overlook the Mediterranean Sea over generations to harvest grapes and olives. This holiday will be remembered for the stunning views of harbors deep below the untamed yet welcoming shoreline, as well as the old fortresses, abundant wines, and brilliant colors. Monterosso al Mare is the largest of the Cinque Terre's five seaside settlements. The community is surrounded by lemon groves, vineyards, and olive groves. This small community is one of the most welcoming on the Ligurian Riviera, thanks to its wonderful beaches, gorgeous corals, and crystal clear waters. The iconic giant statue, placed beside the terrace of a local home, dominates Fegna. This statue, which depicts Neptune, the god of the sea, was erected at the turn of the century. It has since become a symbol of Monterosso. The medieval tower of Aurora divides Monterosso into two halves. Fegana, the new part of town, is vibrant, it reflects an area that has benefited from tourism, as evidenced by the large number and high quality of hotels and restaurants. The remnants of the castle dominate the ancient town of Monterosso, which is characterized by typical small medieval lanes, carugi, along with multicolored terraced dwellings. The beach is the Cinque Terre's only large sand beach, and it spans along the majority of the coastline, attracting both visitors and locals. Vanazza, a little fishing village, is the most typical of the Cinque Terre and is considered one of Italy's most beautiful settlements. Vanazza was built in 1000 AD and ruled by the Genoese Republic until 1276. Belfort, a medieval castle, was built in the mid-1500 to safeguard the community from pirates. The best way to get to this beautiful community is by boat. The lovely piazza is dotted with nice restaurants and cafes, and the modest harbour is bordered by subtle colourful pastels. The settlement is bordered by steeply terraced olive fields that are considered to produce some of the country's best olive oil. Cornelia is situated in the heart of the Cinque Terre, on a little cape rising 100 metres above sea level. It is the only town that does not have access to the sea. A pathway known as La Arena connects the tiny settlement to its train station 377 stairs. Cornelia is linked to the other Cinque Terre settlements by well-kept footpaths that are maintained by park staff. Cornelia is a Roman community with a long and storied agricultural history. Vineyards and terraces surround the community on three sides. It has the architecture of a rural inland village rather than a beach village. Tourists can explore the 18th century square Lago Taraggio with its oratory Santa Caterina in this wonderful hamlet. A fantastic dramatic scene is produced between the homes and the parish of San Pietro, which is a great example of the Gothic Ligurian architecture and one of the most interesting structures on the entire coast. This structure was constructed in 1334. The baptismal basin from the 16th century, the evangelist statues, and the polyptic divided into segments that symbolize the masters are the most interesting pieces of work in the interior. Manarola, perched on a cliff 70 meters above sea level, is one of the Cinque Terre's most picturesque and lovely settlements. A boat dock, lovely multicolored buildings facing the sea, and a modest piazza with seafood restaurants are all part of the tiny harbor. When the sea is rough, the boats are towed onto dry land along the main road. Despite the lack of a beach, it offers some of the best deep water swimming in the area. The settlement has a series of ups and downs, with steep, narrow lanes known as Karugi that lead to the sea. 
If you're planning a trip to the top of Manarola, make sure to stop by the chapel. The bell tower is now used as a religious and communal gathering area, although it was once used as a lookout point for prospective pirate raids. Rio Maggiore is the most southern village of the Cinque Terre, situated just a few minutes by train from La Spezia. It is quite sure that the origins of Rio Maggiore date back to the 8th century, when the inhabitants of the Vara Valley, searching a milder climate to raise grapevines and olive trees without the fear of pirate raids, moved towards the coast. The town climbs up along the ridges overlooking the sea and it is characterized from the typical stone houses with colored facades and slate roofs. In Rio Maggiore starts the Via Delamor, Lover's Lane, a wonderful path known for the romantic atmosphere and amazing landscapes. It leads to Manarola and it takes 20 minutes walking. The Cinque Terre villages are linked by a network of paths offering the best opportunity to truly enjoy the unique landscape. All five villages are well connected by rail. Regular local trains from Genoa and La Spezia run with high frequency. Hope you liked the video. We have more than 150 videos on trending places. Do like and subscribe. Keep watching.